Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to turn this into this. So, all you want to do, I'm going to quickly scramble this. So, there's eight steps to solving the Rubik's Cube in a beginner's fashion. So, I'm going to be doing it the beginner's way. And this way is pretty easy. Um, you just need to learn a lot of algorithms. So, I'm going to just mix this up, just like that. And now, there's eight easy steps to solving the cube. There is number one, the yellow daisy, or white daisy. And then number two, the white cross. Number three, the white base. Number four, the second layer. Number five, there is the yellow cross, the yellow cross. Number six, there is the yellow face. Number seven, there is the corners, position the corners. And number eight, there's position the edges. So, all you want to do for the first step is to find the edge pieces. So these are the so the pieces on the Rubik's cube, the ones with two colors, those are called the edge pieces. The one with three colors are called the corner pieces. And then the ones in the middle with only one color, those are the center pieces. The center pieces do not move. So the yellow is always going to be facing across from the white. The orange is always going to be facing across from the red. The blue is always going to be facing across from, across from the green. And so all you want to do is you want to make the edge pieces all at this top to make a cross, a white cross, but the center with a yellow piece. So if you don't know how to do this, just find a corner piece, or I mean an edge piece, and you want to make it so it lines up to the top. So like right here, I know that if I turn it, it'll go to the top where I need it. So you just need to line it up and then you need to turn it to wherever you need it. And next, this, that's step one. The next step is to make the white cross. The reason why you want to have the daisy is so you can line up these two colors. So we made the yellow, we made the daisy with edge pieces. And as you know, the edge pieces have two colors. You want to look at the second color. On this one, the second color is orange. So I'm going to match, like if it was here, I'm going to match this orange up with the orange center. Once it's matched up with the orange center, I'm going to pull it down so it's right across from the white place. And then I'm gonna start to make the white cross. So this one, the second color is blue. Make it so it matches the blue center and pull this side down so it's like that. Next, this is the red. I'm gonna match it up with the red center. Pull it down and just like that. And this one is green. Going to match it up with the green center. Pull it down just like that. And now there's a white cross. Now there is an edge piece. If you don't want it there, you can always do this and knock it out of place. And now it's only the white cross. The next step is to complete the white base. Now if you want to do this, we're going to need to learn algorithms. If you guys don't know what an algorithm is, it's a bunch of moves put together. So like this, so I'll teach you the moves. So if you see R, that means that you move the right side. So this is the right side, the left side, and then this is F for the face, um, and then this is, well, 
F for front, I mean. So F for front, and then B for back, and then there's up and down. So all you want to do for this step is you want to find a white corner piece. Well, a corner piece with white on it. And now the white can't be on this top layer. It has to be on this third layer right here. So it's right here. I'll show you how to do it if the white is on the top layer. But right now, it's on this third layer, which is where I want it. Now I'm going to look at the second color. This one is green. So I'm going to match the green with the green center. So it's facing across like this. Now, what you want to do is you want to perform an algorithm called R U R prime, which whenever you see whenever you hear prime, that means counterclockwise. So the R means to turn the right face clockwise, R prime means to turn it counterclockwise. So now I got that one edge piece in. Now if you don't match up this um, color with the other, with the center of that color, like let's say this one's red, so let's match it up with the blue, then this doesn't match. This red does not go next to the blue, this green does not go next to this red. So now I'm going to actually ma match it up so green with green, do the move, and it should be in the right place. Now this one, for this move, I don't go R, U, R prime, because then I have to repeat that a couple times for it to actually work. What I have to do is L prime, U prime, L. And that's if it's on the left side right here. And then once I do that, it should put the cube right into place. Now I'm going to just do that with the rest of them. Now if you see, if you look at this, this white is on the top face. I need it on this face. So if you want to put it down on this face, all you want to do is you want to perform the algorithm. Well, first, you want to make sure that it's facing that the other side, so it's right here. If I go down, the other side is not um, a white piece, uh, a white piece already in place. Because if it is, like right here, it's going across from a white piece that's already in place, then I'll do the move and it'll knock that piece out of place. So I don't want it knocked out of place. So you want to have it go facing directly down to a non-white piece. And then all you want to do is R, U, 2, which means you move it twice, and then R prime. And now it's on the right layer. And now we look, the other color is orange. It's matching up with the orange already. And now I do the move. Now. Let's say the cube is on the bottom layer, like right here. All you want to do is you want to perform the algorithm R, U, R prime. And now it's on the top layer. And now you can do the way to put it out of the top layer and onto the right layer. Now I can just put it back in position and that's the white face plus the first layer. On to the next step. The next step is to complete the whole entire second layer. To do this, all you want to do is you want to find an edge piece without yellow. It cannot have yellow on it or else this won't work. This one has red and green. You want to look at the color that's on the third layer, not the color that's on the top layer. So the color on the third layer is red. Now you want to match up the red with the red center. And now what you want to do 
is look at the top. This one's green. The top is green. So now you want to see if the top's on the left or the right side. Right now it's on the right side. So if it's on the right side, if the top color is on the right side, all you want to do is perform the algorithm R, I mean, U, R, U, R prime. And now, it, as you can see, it knocks this white piece out of place. You just want to put it in place and it will take the right color with it. So now, that's part of the second layer. The next thing you want to do is, so this one, orange is on that side. So I am going to do, I'm going to do that and put it back in. Now, let's see, red is on this side. Let's see if I can get it. Okay, blue's on that side. So I'm going to do this. Red's on this side. But now if it's, if there's red right here, now put it right here and then the blue would be on this side. So if the color on the top is on the left side, you want to do L prime U, wait, no, you want to do U prime, L prime, U prime, and then L. So it just knocks that piece out of place and then you put it back in place. But right now it is not on the left side. And it's on the right side, so I'm going to do U, R, U, R prime. And it knocks this white piece out of place. And then I'm going to do the right move to put it back in place. And now you should have the second layer solved. The next step is to complete the yellow cross. We're moving on really quick here. So the yellow cross, to complete the yellow cross, you need to look and you need to see what it looks like. So for this, there's, we're going to be learning a new algorithm. This algorithm is F U R U prime R prime F prime. And then I'm going to just do that one more time, and there. So if there is no edge pieces with yellow on them, all you want to do is you want to perform that algorithm. Once you do, it would make a yellow line. When it has a yellow line, all you want to do is perform that algorithm again. And then it'll make an L shape. You want to place that L on the 12 and 9 positions on a clock. And now, F, U, R, U prime, R prime, F prime. And that will solve the yellow cross. On to the next step. The next step is to continue the and solve the whole entire yellow face. So all you want to do is you want to find a yellow piece and you want to make it in your left hand and just like here so it's in my left hand now all you want to do is do R this is a new algorithm it's R U R prime U R U2 R prime and then it should make the cross without any corner pieces. Once it does, you want to have a yellow piece. You want to find a yellow piece and put it in your left hand and do the algorithm again. R, U, R prime, U, R, U, two, R prime. And now it should make something with a cross and one yellow corner piece, which kind of looks like a fish. Now you want the fish to face down to the bottom left, according to your perspective. If you, you don't always have to have it facing down here with the blue and orange, you could have it facing down with the orange and green. You just have to have it facing down to the left 
to the bottom left according to your perspective. And now R U R prime U R U two R prime. Now you might have to rotate the fish to face the bottom left again and continue the algorithm one more time, but once you do, you'll have the yellow face solved. On to the next step. The next step is to solve the corner pieces. Position the corner pieces. So to do that, you want to see, you want to look at these two pieces on every single side. As you can see right here, these two pieces pieces are both blue and they both match each other so if they match each other you want to put that in your left hand if there's no matches then you want to do the algorithm that I'm about to teach you and I'll make a match but put the match in your left hand so the two things that match put it in your left hand and perform the new algorithm that goes like L prime U R U prime L U R prime R U R prime U R U two R prime. Now all the edge pieces should be in position. And if you have a full face, so this is a full whole entire face. If the whole entire face is solved, you want to place it to the back. Now the rest shouldn't be solved. Sometimes it does solve automatically, but it shouldn't. Now, as you can see, we have everything but these pieces. And you want to put these pieces in the right place. So this green piece wants to be over here, this blue piece wants to be over here, and the red piece wants to be over here. Now, whichever side is facing the back will not move. Nothing will change on this side. That's why you want the completely solved side on the back. Now all you want to do is you want to perform a new algorithm. This algorithm goes F2 U prime R prime L F2 L prime R U prime and then F2. You can do it this way. Now I I don't usually do F2 like that. Once it's like this, I do it like that. And it does the same thing though. But now it should be all solved. If you do that and there's still an edge piece that isn't solved, you have to do it one more time. Now if there's no faces solved, do that algorithm and it should solve one face and then you point it to the back and you do the algorithm as many times as you need. That's how you solve the Rubik's Cube. Thanks for watching. See ya in the next vid.